If you're thinking about upgrading your camera, this video is for you. Peace, welcome back to the channel. My name is Luis Garcia and you're watching Wise Mind Films. Today we're going to be talking about everything that you should consider upgrading before you actually upgrade your camera. First thing you want to consider before you upgrade your camera is your workstation or your laptop. Is it equipped to handle the new codecs and everything that these new cameras are going to bring? A lot of people think that, you know, just because they got a new camera, they're going to be able to create all these fancy things with it. But what happens if you can't actually edit? What happens if when you upload the footage to your laptop or your computer, the files are just way too big? Remember, new cameras come at a price. Now, do you want to pay a couple stacks for an 8K camera and only be able to use the high definition 1080p from it? Remember that having the right hardware is gonna make your editing experience heavenly. If you try to upgrade your camera and you're running really old or basic equipment, it's really gonna make your process hell. Another thing that people tend to forget is the editing software that they're actually using. There's tons of options ranging from free to paid, but if you're still using a beginner software, you may wanna consider upgrading before actually upgrading your camera. The majority of software out there, you're probably not gonna run into any problems. Like I said, there's tons of free options that are great and they should be able to handle a lot of the files that these newer cameras have. You have to do your due diligence and make sure that if you are using a basic editor, something that you just got for free to start off with, make sure that the next camera you are gonna get, that the files are gonna be compatible with whatever you're using. Another thing that people tend to forget when they upgrade cameras is storage space. Whether you're still using a hard disk drive or you've upgraded to solid state drive, make sure that you have enough of that to go around. A lot of these new cameras, the file sizes are humongous and they can easily start eating away at a 500 gigabyte hard drive in no time. Even if you are using a solid state drive, make sure that you're using a terabyte or above because you will go through it, especially if you're an avid shooter, if you're using it for YouTube videos, for short films, vlogs, whatever it is that you're doing, you got to realize that those files are going to double up. Whatever you're using now, think of having double or triple the space just to make sure. The last three things I'm going to mention that you should upgrade before you ever even consider upgrading your camera is your lights, your audio, and your lenses. Make sure that you have proper lights. Make sure that you have more than one light. It's always good to invest in your lighting because lighting is what's really going to make it cinematic. The camera, of course, is going to help. But when you actually use proper framing and composition and proper lighting, things really do come to life. Same thing with your lenses. Make sure that you do invest in more than one lens. Try to upgrade your lens before you actually upgrade the camera. And if you are upgrading lenses, make sure that you invest in a camera in the future that's still going to be able to use those lenses. Everybody knows that Canon is known for a wide a variety of lenses that can be used across different bodies. But that doesn't mean that you can't do so with another type of body, because remember, there are adapters, there are speed boosters and things like that that can help you actually get the most out of whatever lenses that you are making a collection of. Different focal lengths, different type of lenses is going to give you a different type of look. So maybe that new camera that you're looking and eyeing is not actually the right choice, but maybe a new lenses. You want a treat? Audio is one of the most important things of film and video. So make sure that you invest in proper microphones, whether you're using a shotgun mic on top of your camera or you're investing in a lavalier mic set, just make sure that what you're getting is gonna provide you with crispy, clean audio. And it doesn't stop there. When you're messing with audio, remember that you should also be investing in software to clean up that audio because microphones can only do so much. And when you mess with it in post, it's actually going to make an even bigger difference. It's gonna make a bigger difference in terms of the actual audio experience. So these are all the things that you should be considering to upgrade before you ever, ever, ever spend money on a new camera. If you got the bread for it, go ahead, be my guest, spend it on whatever you want. But these are just the things that I'm looking to invest in before I actually even upgrade the cameras that I have. So until next time, remember, consume less and create more.